Hey guys, it's Sarah and I am here with my last layout using the June premium kit for the Not Just For Boys Kit Club. And for this one, I'm gonna be using that beautiful cloud paper from Bow Bunny. And I did go ahead and grab some blue cardstock from my stash. So I'm going to mat my photos with this blue cardstock and then it's going to be the outline for my layout as well. And uh, so what I'm doing is I'm putting my pictures in the middle of the cardstock and then I'm going to cut out the center. So it's gonna be kind of gutting the middle of it. Um, Sorry, you're seeing my head a whole lot here. <laughs> I, uh, I think I have my camera like set back a little bit farther than I normally do. But um, I am gonna go ahead and cut that out and then I'm gonna clean those edges up and make them straight with my cutter. And I do this so often. Um, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, then you'll know that I do that almost every other layout. <laughs> it's kind of my one of my go-to uh, designs here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my paper down by about a quarter of an inch on each side, um, or sorry, quarter of an inch on two sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it down on my uh, cardstock mat here. It's beautiful clouds with a little blue outline there. And then uh, these photos are from a museum that we have uh, here in our town. It's called the Armament Museum. It is a military museum that has a whole bunch of older military airplanes. And um, it's a really cool museum and it has a lot of history of um, the area around us, like the Gulf Coast and um, some of the, you know, just the military airplanes that were flown over in wars and all that stuff. So it was pretty neat. Uh, we ended up taking my uh, best friend's family when she came to visit us because her son, her older son, loves airplanes, especially wartime airplanes. And that is him in the picture that is on the top there. He's in front of his favorite airplane and um, he gave me an entire history lesson on that airplane, which was pretty awesome. And uh, so when um, they planned their trip to come visit us, I knew that we had to make a stop at this museum because uh, he is just... Um, He's basically a connoisseur of like, especially World War II airplanes. So it was pretty neat to watch him. I mean, he was walking around telling us all about all the different airplanes and I was so impressed that he knew all this. <laughs> I was just, my mind was blown. So it was pretty neat. It was almost like we had our very own tour guide. So, um, okay, I used that airplane kind of a paper clip almost up on top there. And then uh, I'm using this little, um, Let's see, what is that? Like a vellum tag, that's what I'm, those are the words I'm trying to think of. Um, and then I used the um, museum complex map that I had saved from a brochure and I just cut that out and used that almost like a picture. And then um, I have that other die cut that says you are here with the map that I thought was pretty cool. Um, and then I do have that Everyday Explorer, but I'm going to end up changing that out. Um, I thought that was going to be my title, but I changed it out for some thicker. So. And then I'm going to use a couple of these clouds here. These are clouds that uh, coincide with some die cuts uh, that came in the kit. And so uh, these are super cute. So I'm going to use um, a large one and a smaller one. And I love the, just the little layered with the colors and the um, patterns on top. I love those. They're so cute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these clouds put down here. Um, and then, let's see, so I talked about the top picture. The bottom picture there is of my daughter, Layla, and she is sitting inside uh, just a little, um, oh, what's the word for it? A little uh, airplane, like it's the cockpit of the airplane, but it's not a real one, it's like a model, I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but she's sitting in it and pushing all the buttons and, you know, pretending to fly it and stuff. It's pretty cute. And that is actually inside the museum there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, yeah, so I do like the way that this is starting to look so far. I'm going to go ahead and get my title done. So I'm going to use the thickers that came in the kit. And I'm just going to spell out Armament Museum. Um, I have all the letters for it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to end up putting it, um, I think I'm going to move it down so that it is next to 
or I'm just going to shift it down so that it's on top of the bottom right here. Yeah, I like the way that that looks a little bit better. And then I will do my journaling um, above that. I'm actually going to pull out this card from the packaging of the ribbon from the kit. I'm going to cut a little piece off of here so that I have a little grid. And then I'm going to cut it into a banner. And then that is going to be where I do my journaling. So I'm using some of the packaging to do my journaling here. And I am going to go ahead and get my title put down now. So I'm using some quick dry adhesive to put down my chipboard thickers. I always do that because they tend to not stay for the long haul. So I always take a few extra minutes and um, just reinforce it. And then I have a couple of these little um, chipboard pieces here. I really like that um, push pin that I put on the map. Um, that one up there says local favorite, I think or local attraction, a local attraction, that's what it is. And then, um, I don't remember what the, what the bottom says. I think it says, I followed my heart and it led me here. I'm pretty sure that's where, that's what it says. But I wanted to um, add that one because it definitely uh, reflects the thoughts of my friend's son that, um, you know, he loves airplanes and um, all that. So I knew it was a place that he would really enjoy. So, um, yeah. Okay. So I'm putting my journaling onto this um, banner here, and then I will put that right above the title. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the clouds down. And I do like that you, you know, there's clouds here, but you can also still see the clouds on the background paper too. And I'm going to grab um, some little blue stars from my stash. Now these are little stars I've had for a very long time. I'm trying to use some of these things up here. <laughs> so I'm gonna use a few of these here and there. Um, they're just little blue stars. But they go nicely with the, with the layout and with the kind of airplane sky theme here. And that's going to complete my layout. So here are some close-ups here for you. Um, please let me know if you guys have any questions at all. I will leave a link to the Not Just For Boys Kit Club website down below if you guys want to check it out. I highly recommend them. And I will see you guys again very soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.